Hello everybody, this is La Manic Tree 5 and welcome back to another Manic Monday and today I'm going to be doing a redstone tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a button act as a lever. So that basically means a button to work as a lever. So I'm going to press this button and show you what a button does on its own. It makes the piston go up then it comes down straight away again. So this is what my, the, this is what the button that acts as the lever will do. It The piston stays up and when I press it again, the piston goes down. So, th it's time to start getting building this thing. So, you first of all you need your block of choice. I'm going to be using obsidian and then you need your button. You cannot use obsidian for the pistons. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But next of all you need redstone dust, a redstone torch and some pistons. Some normal pistons and whatever thing you're going to hook the redstone up to like a dispenser or a piston or whatever or a red or a piston door but anyway let's get started so we need a redstone here and we're just going to lead the redstone out here a bit so we have more room and then down in here we need a redstone torch and then we need to put a block over the redstone torch like this and that will power the redstone but that doesn't matter then we need, no we don't need to put a block there, sorry. We need to put a piston here and a piston here. So the piston needs to be two blocks away from each other. And what each piston needs to be, so one piston needs to be one block away from the hole with the redstone torch in and one piston needs to be right beside it. So then we need to put um, a block on here, like that. Then we need to put uh, two or more of your blocks of choice on top here. Then you need to put a redstone torch on each side of your blocks of choice, like that. So, now you, oh, I think you need to do it like um, this first, and then put this one on. So, this, the one that is not over the red, the piston, so you need to, uh, you need to arrange it so the block is not over the redstone torch. So then you need to just take out your redstone, and that's not working. Whoops, I think I did something wrong. But uh, oh yeah, that's the wrong. That's the wrong place. So now we need to do your redstone coming round up here to your thing that you are going to be doing. Which me, what I'm going to be doing is a piston with a glowstone block on top of it. So this is what's going to happen when we press it. Alright, that didn't work uh, for some reason. Let's try it again. Alright, that didn't work. Oh, of course. Stupid me. I forgot to do the most important thing, which is hook up the redstone to this bit. So we need to put the a block there and put your redstone on top of it and lead your redstone up here like this. So, when we press this button now, the piston will not go up again. Oh, we need a repeater because the thing is going... the you can't spread it long enough. Okay, that's okay. I thought something wasn't working, but don't worry, it wasn't. So we need to put a repeater there, and yeah, it's working now. So then we press another button. So we press the button again, and it goes down. Then we press the button again. It goes back up. Then we press it again, and it goes back down. So yeah, that was how to make a button act as a lever. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, and I'll see you in my... Oh, I'm, back. I'm facing you backwards. Remember to sell, which stands for subscribe, enjoy, like. Hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I will see you all later. Bye!